In this tips and tricks video, we'll be looking at the fidelity and accuracy of a simulation with an ANSYS discovery. In this example, we're looking at the structural analysis of this bracket. We have two fixed supports at the mounting holes and then a force applied to the other end of the bracket. In this case, we're going to be looking at you know, the different accuracy settings that you have within ANSYS discovery. So first things first, in the explore stage, there is a fidelity slider here. The further to the right you pull that, the more accurate the solution, and the further to the left, the less accurate. And the two ends of this are determined by ANSYS discovery based off of the GPU you have on your computer. So the better GPU, the more possible fidelity you can have. If you would like to visualize this fidelity, you come up here to the on the simulation tab. There's the size preview, and this displays the a, a 3D volume element being used to represent the geometry in the simu, in the simulation. So you can kind of think of this as mesh size. You just can't actually preview the mesh. It just shows you what size um, element it's essentially using under the hood in the simulation. So if I click on this, you can see this little red cube pop, pops up. So you can see the, it has an edge length of 1.18 millimeters. Um, so you can see it's you know relatively small, so it's good enough to capture um, some details, but stuff like rounds, it may be a little too big. Um, so, so to take a look at this, we're gonna try different fidelity settings to see how that affects our results. So I'm gonna solve this first with the lowest possible fidelity. And as we do this, we're going to be tracking our max von Mises stress, just so we can see how the stress changes at different fidelity settings. So I'm going to go ahead and hit solve here, and we're going to plot the von Mises stress. And I'm just going to turn on the min-max labels here. So you can see the, ma the maximum stress pops up in this round right here with a magnitude of about... 2400 PSI. Now I'm just going to bump this fidelity slider up again and if we go back to that size preview and zoom in you'll see it's a much smaller element size now. So now it's 0.43 millimeters instead of the 1.2. And you can see our stress updates in this chart here. It has gone up now to about 2500 PSI. And I'm just going to try now to bump the fidelity up all the way to see what happens. We can zoom back in with that fidelity slider, and now it's down to an edge length of 0.3 millimeters. So that's quite small, so we can expect our solution here to be fairly accurate. And you'll see again our stress has gone up again to about 2600 PSI now. All right, and you can see that trend over time in this chart here. Now, if we want to verify these results, we can actually solve this same model using the ANSYS mechanical solver rather than this GPU-based solver in the explore stage. And to do that, I'm going to flip on over to the refine mode. And it carries through all of my supports and distributed forces. But this uses the ANSYS mechanical solver instead of the, the discovery GPU solver. So if I solve this model, I can then use this to verify the results uh, and compare from you know, one solver to the other and see how the results line up. So in this case, it's solved. And you can see in my chart here, this pops up as a purple triangle here. And it's much lower than my explore stage. But if we look at the results a little further, I can turn on the mesh here. And you'll see we have a pretty coarse mesh down here in the um, you know, area of the highest stress. So I'm going to add a local mesh control. And this is only available in the refine stage currently. Um, so I'm going to add a local mesh control to these faces here. And I'm going to enter a value of, um, let me make sure I'm in inches, 0 0.05. All right, and now I need to hit solve again. 
and it's going to solve the model one more time and we should see a refined mesh in that area. So this will give us a much more accurate result and you can see it lines up almost exactly with that uh, our highest fidelity setting in our refine stage. So in the refine or in the explore stage it was 2600 psi and in the refine stage it's 2600 200 psi. So pretty good agreement between the explore stage and the refine stage. Um, and this should give you some indication of the different fidelity settings and how it affects the accuracy of a structural model within ANSYS Discovery. This concludes this tips and tricks video. Thank you for watching.